Folks, the likelihood of picking one specific grain of sand out of all the grains of sand across every beach on this earth is 7.5 times 10 to the negative 18th power. Now, you'd have to divide that number by 36 orders of magnitude, aka this number behind me, one followed by 36 zeros, to find the likelihood that the rates in this game are in fact even. And the reason that number's so small is because in fact, they are not. They're totally rigged. Fastidious. Fastidious. How the heck are everybody? I'm Fastidious, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a good video guys. We finally will reveal the data and the results Seamus the Hug Monster and I accrued in our epic drop rate study. If you're new to this guys, let me catch you up to speed. A few weeks ago, Seamus and I set out to prove something that I think many, many, many of us knew to be true, but we wanted to prove it. And that is that the rates in this game among the same rarity are uneven. Some heroes are rarer than others. So we chose to focus on epic heroes. Let's get into the details here and really break down what I'm talking about. Then we're gonna get into the hard numbers and reveal all of that good, good data. So when you're talking non-Lord epics, right? We have a 7.88% chance that any of those will be summoned. What we did in our study is we just accounted for all the epics we could possibly find across 398 submissions, so over 36,000 epics. And then we just took the assumption that there was an even distribution among those epics, because that's very much what this implies. We see a 7.88% and then it's applying to these 46 heroes, very much seeming like it's going to be even. But anecdotally and now statistically, we know it to be the case that it is not even close to even. If we were to assume with a 100% chance that we would get an epic hero, you would think there'd be an even distribution among these 46. So 100% divided by 46, 2.17%. I'm gonna show you right now, that is not even close to what we found. All right, on to the nitty gritty. First, I wanna give a big thank you on behalf of myself and Seamus to Kalian and Vambada, who helped us tremendously, particularly with the back end of this project, crunching the numbers and throwing together this fantastic six page report, which we will submit directly to the devs. So thank you guys so much. And this report guys will be available to all of you. There is a view only version that will be pinned in the top comment. There'll be a link there, as well as in the description of this video. Something else that will be pinned is the actual results, the sh Google sheet with all the data. So you're looking at that right now. You get to see all that stuff if you wanna sort through it, but let's break it down just a little bit. Like I said, guys, you all, the community showed up in a big way. If we go to forum responses, you will see we had 398 submissions with clean data, just fantastic stuff. Now back to the numbers, that's what matters the most to all of us. Total summons accounted for, you'll see right above my head, is 420,817. The most important thing there is we've counted, we've tallied up 36,000 316 epic heroes because that is what we are focusing on. We're not looking for is the chance of getting an epic actually what they say it is. We are looking once you get that epic, what are the chances that it being this hero versus that hero versus that hero, that that rate is distributed evenly, right? So you'll see we've got like a bit of color coding here. Essentially, we have the lords down here. It doesn't matter too much to us, but this pink uh, and then the darker pink, that refers to any heroes who have had a 10x since the game went live with global. The slightly darker hue represents the most recent 10x that we accounted for before we had our final kind of aggregation of the data. However, the really good stuff is gonna be over here to the right. Essentially, we have created a form of a heat map. So what you can see here, we have our base expectation here, right? All the way down here. The expected distribution is going to be 2.17%, 2.17%. If you just take that good number, 100 divided by 46, that is what you'd expect with a perfectly even distribution. Of course, the world is not a perfect place, so we've accounted for some margin of error. That is gonna be 2.14% to 2.20%. If you guys want more on this, it is, is very, detailed in a very clear way in the written report. If you look right above this, guys, we have the breakdown of what the different heat clusters represent. So if the chance of getting that hero from what we found was less than 1%, it is in that red zone. That is kind of a shocking outlier. Between 1% and 2.13, that is right in from the low end to the you know bottom end right below the margin of error. Then the green, only three heroes fell in here, as you're gonna see. That is actually in our clean, what we expected margin of error range. Then we have 2.21%, 
all the way up to 2.99. That's, you know, on the slightly higher end, it's a bit more common, but not shocking. And then we have over 3%, which is, all right, kind of crazy. So let's talk it through. Aatrox at the top, you might not be shocked about. He's a newer addition to the game. He also is a dual faction member in a Chaos. Not the craziest thing there, but the next few, I mean, it's exactly, exactly what we expected. Estrid at a minuscule 0.26%. How is that even possible? Greed at 0.4%. Iona at 0.51%. Dimos 0.53%. And that is including Dimos having a 10x since global launch. Hollow 0.58%. And Olog, again, even with the 10x at 0.89%. It's all the heroes we predicted. I mean, this is not a coincidence, folks. And statistically, we're proving it's a fact. They are uneven. So here you go. Livian, Voroth, uh, Komodo, Cyrene, Selk. Cath. That makes up the lower end, but not the shocking. Uh, kind of maybe things we could have guessed, but not the, the catch your eye outliers. And then we have our, our big three that actually fill, it fell right in that middle into our margin error that we actually might have expected. Nisande, Azoth, and Navros. Those are our, that's our little triumvirate. Then we have, you know, a little bit more common than you'd expect, but not shocking. Scorch, he did have a 10x and he's still there. Maul, uh, Jankar, Theowin, uh, Gluttony. So a lot of heroes that did have 10x. And then the, the ones at the end might not surprise you. Midon takes the cake at over 4%, 4.01%. That is a chance if you summon any non-Lord Epic hero, that is gonna be Midon. Granted, she had a 10x, but we control for that. Check out the written study. If we go all the way to the bottom, we'll ignore Aatrox because he's a new addition, but Estrid is at 0.26%. Compare that to Midon at 4.01%. It is just straight up dishonest. And I know they don't explicitly say they're even rates. I might see that in the comments, but it is heavily implied. And I think us as consumers of the game, players of the game, lovers of the game deserve transparency. We are not asking through this study to even out the rates, to level the rates. We are asking them to be transparent and just tell us what the rates actually are so people aren't just straight up gambling. Uh, I think this is about as clear as you could prove it, but let's get into some statistics. So guys, Vambada, Kaylee, and Seamus and I are quite proud of the report we put together here. So please, if you're interested, give it a read. We really thoroughly step-by-step -step break it down through the statistics and our proper statistically driven proof, right? Uh, we do start off with this little quote I wanna show you, and then I wanna break down that binomial distribution, that estrid calculation that is so shocking. Okay, so first off, trust is a fragile thing. Difficult to build, easy to break. It cannot be bargained for, only if it is freely given, it can be expected in return. I know it's a bit hoity-toity and lofty, but we wanted to start on a powerful note. This will be submitted to the devs. Let's get to the really good stuff. Let's talk about that absolute craziness and the math behind the s calculation. So guys, we wanted to be as fair and generous as humanly possible when it came to our calculations before really pointing fingers like this. So what we did was we excluded the data from all the 10X heroes. The total number of epics pulled in the data collected was 36,115. As you saw before, we've had a few more collections since we wrote that. But excluding all the epics that were affected by a 10X summons, that left 18.59 thousand epics, 18,590 epics. Out of that, 18,590, exactly 96 were estrid. Less than 100 out of over 18,500 were estrid. So we figured, let's figure out how many standard deviations that is away from anything that could ever be re uh, reasonably expected. So Kalian led the charge here and led a binomial distribution. So we went ahead and we set our sample size, uh, we found the mean, we found the standard deviation, and we ran that binomial distribution. It is all broken down here, guys, but the gist of it is we went looking for our Z-score. So guys, with a mean of 403.4, that means you'd be expected on average to get 403.4, not 96, and a standard deviation of only 19.9, we found the actual value of 96 falls nowhere near that mean, obviously, right? You can then calculate how many standard deviations from the mean it is and use that to determine its probability. To calculate that using how many standard deviations from the mean, it's also known as the Z-score. So what Z-score did we find? Guys, this might be a little heady if you're not into stats. To be honest, I'm not in that into stats. It's been about a decade for me. However, I do know that a Z-score of negative 15 is shocking. So what does that really mean? It means the probability of this occurring, that there were even rates, and we got estrid only 96 times when we would have expected 403 and a little bit more. The probability of that is 8.18 times 10 to the negative 54th power. 
As Vambada and Kalian go on to write here, it is hard for us to even put into words how incredibly impossible this is. Now back to the sand. This is so much less likely compared to something as ridiculous as picking one specific grain of sand out of every grain of sand on Earth. That would only equate to 7.5 times 10 to the negative 18th power. You'd have to take that number, divide it by 10 to the 36th power, and you'd still be short just a little bit. Guys, it is beyond bonkers. It is ridiculous. A reminder, everybody, the full report as well as the full data sheet will have links in the top pinned comment as well as the description. So if you're interested, go check that out. So I figured let's head back into the game to bring this thing home. I want to show you guys something. If we go to the summoning and we go to the details, right, you will see here in epics, there's a 7.88% chance to get a non-lord epic. That number 7.88 might look strange to you. Well, it's because it's an 8% chance, a nice round number to get an epic, but point. 2% is coming from the epic lords. It makes sense. Lords are valuable. They should be rare. However, it was not always like this. It used to be a clean 8%. If you're interested, I'll link a video. Ma Bucket has a rant from back in March of this year where he goes through this and talks about how at that point they had only just divulged that in fact the chance of getting an epic lord was less than getting a non-epic lord. Until then, they were just in the same pool, or at least that's what was presumed because there was no transparency. The community made a fuss and a change was made. Like I said, the goal that Seamus, Vambada, Kalian, myself, and everyone else I think has is not that they have to even the rates. It doesn't have to be as likely that you get Nazim or Greed, you know, or Osiren or Hollow. It's fine. They can be more rare, but they need to be more transparent. And clearly, as I just articulated, the change has been made. Look at that. In game now, you can see a difference. 0.12% chance to get an Epic Lord, 7.88% chance to get a non-Epic Lord. The game, Montoon, the developers, they divulged this. There is no reason they couldn't do this for every hero, or at least group the heroes in different classes. You know, you can have the kind of rare ones, the pretty rare ones, and then the hollows and the estrids and things like that, right? That's what we're trying to do here, guys. So basically, this is a call to action. You don't have to go sharing my video. Do whatever you want, but make some noise. You know, you can post in the comments of your favorite creators, get on Discord, send messages, send complaints. There's no reason they shouldn't be transparent. Quite frankly, this is illegal in a lot of countries, and they need to disclose this if it is uneven, because otherwise, it is straight up gambling. All right, thank you so much to Seamus. He really was not even my right-hand man, just totally my partner through this whole thing. So everyone will have his link in the description as well. Go check out Seamus. Thank you you so much for watching. I've been fastidious and thank you for so much for all your help. It really this was a lot of fun and I hope we can make a change. I don't know. Let's see. I'll see you in the next one. Fastidious.